um, to our a very exciting day today with Maham Sohail. And um, ma- I have to say, so this is, this is um, you know, this is showing my prejudice. So I, I actually wouldn't expect a young lady from Pakistan to be so, have such a diverse and open, maybe a good word to use, open view on the world and music as you do. Um, of her of her musical influences and uh, the artist is Mali Umu Sangari. It sounds like an African person, is it? Yeah, yeah. Umu Sangari. Yes. Mm, nice. Yeah, French yeah. African maybe? French African, oh, yes. Look at that. Mm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I got to see her play live actually when she won the Vomex Award uh, in two thousand seventeen in Poland and um, mm. loved her the live sound as well and um, yeah so she's got, got some interesting grooves going on lo- uh, uh, alongside some bluesy sort of you know mm. uh, Quora nice words. so yeah. listeners I hope you've got your so t- the word for today is diverse diverse and just go with the flow great music is great music doesn't matter where it comes from sound of runners the sun by Shearwater um, and next so Maham was telling us earlier about how um, how she felt like she was really spiritually at home when she's in the mountains uh, and it's something I can totally relate to because um, I remember when I went to the highlands of Scotland for the first time and also my father comes from the Isle of Man um, which is an island in between all of the nations of Great Britain and I have to say of all the places I've ever been in the United Kingdom my soul feels the happiest in the highlands of Scotland so uh, so we, yeah. we share something there yeah. so, so this song is dedicated to Maham and it's by um, a woman I would like to think must have influenced you a bit so it's Kate Bush yeah Um, then again, everyone has their own subjective uh, perspective on uh, and, you know, their takeaways from their lived experiences. So I, um, for one, I never really felt like an us and them sort of a person, you know, like I never, uh, always it was about, this, there was this little hippie inside of me, I guess, always. <laughs> like, nice. Uh, you know, always uh, like uh, looking at uh, similarities between people, always like uh, having this empathy and I don't know. And always also a fascination for different cultures, mm. even within Pakistan, because, you know, there is a lot of diversity. Yeah, sure. Uh, culturally, linguistically, uh, ethnically. So, um, I think uh, that really uh, all the travel actually helped me open up even more so to uh, the similarities rather than the differences, I would oh, say. Beautifully put, a child of the world. And this is <laughs> the wonderful The Seekers. Uh, this is dedicated to Judith Durham, one of the greatest singers of all time. Lead singer of The Seekers, sadly passed away recently. Um, absolute gem of a woman. <laughs> So, so yeah, it's like uh, a lot of times poetry has come to me like when I see the first glance of, of the river uh, on mm. the road, uh, when you enter the zone, you know, with, with the mountains and that terrain starts and I look at the rock face or the river and, mm. you know, I just, just feel poetry, the inspiration poetry starts, uh, yeah. <laughs> flowing in. Ah, Sometimes nice. even melodies, I wrote a song like in Spain, I was also living in Spain, you know, um, for some time till November 2020. And I remember this, this song, which I have yet to record, uh, which, you know, people have been asking me to do, so it's called Child of the Mountain. Mm, so nice. that I wrote on my nice. guitar, Lily, in the car, mm. on the road to this mountainous place, Montanejo, from uh, the Valencia city. So that kind of stuff, you know, and... Um, Inspired yeah. by nature. <laughs> right, Drew. So um, you're going to take out one of the songs we were going to play. Okay. And you're going to play Kate Bush's King of the Mountain in a minute for King me. King of the Mountain. And we'll okay. dedicate it to Maham. And next City. we have Pulp. Cool. City? Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How many people now? Maybe more than five million, I guess. Honestly, I'm not very familiar with the statistics, especially the latest ones, mm-hmm. because I think it's it's just uh, growing by the day. So, mm. <laughs> I mean, not just Karachi, but, you know, a lot of big cities around the world. Yeah. So, but then I was living in Pakistan. The city I've lived in the most is in is Lahore. But honestly, I feel much more at home in the mountains. Mm, nice. <laughs> your soul, so your soul tells you that you, you, you sort of come for the mountains, does it? 
Actually, yes. Like when, when there are communities in the mountains, even just today in the morning on the train here. Um, uh, this, so there is this uh, uh, team who went on an expedition and uh, it was led by the, this this uh, woman, female mountaineer and her brother and they submitted the K2 peak in June. So I was also just talking to them and, you know, so, so yeah. How did you discover new music? Do you, how, do you, how did you, is it recommendation? Did you just sort of surf the internet and go, well, let's listen to this? Or how, how, how does it work? Good question, Paul, because these days I think it's become even more tricky to, you know, like uh, um, uh, filter through mm -hmm. <laughs> a lot of content. So uh, usually my, my go-to place is Spotify in terms of digital media. Uh, that's where I listen to a lot of my music on. And uh, and then uh, there are always friends, you know. Mm. I get by with a little help. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. so, if you need um, anybody. Uh, <laughs> the new He's been, uh, he's been quite independent that mm. way as an artist till he really got out there and uh, now he has a few Grammys under his belt actually yeah. and uh, in, he's touring the world as we speak right now and I was really anyway, I mean, now this is more of a subjective remark but I was really hoping to be at his concert which was in June but then my plan coming here got delayed but, uh, but yeah, he, he has like uh, quite a knack for putting different styles together mm. and piecing uh, instruments and... Um, and even looping mm -hmm. and uh, bringing in other artists and on his, uh, I think that was his last album, he had quite a few collaborations as well, um, even with hip hop, R&B and soul and you know, yeah. and that kind of artist. Such a talented yeah. artist. How do you, um, how do you like it, uh, uh, Paul? Of course. <laughs> you sang it. How yeah, I'm singing it and... Um, Okay, this has a whole story behind it. It's an EP of five songs, actually. Oh. Four provinces from the four languages from the mountains. And, so, um, I'm sorry, to cut, cut across my wonderful yeah. guest here. So, <laughs> out of interest, how, how would someone listening uh, to you today um, buy your music? What's the best place for them to do that? How, where do they go? Okay, so there is my website, which is... Um, uh, www dot so it's maham m a h a m mm -hmm. dash suhail s u h a i l dot com and uh, then maham suhail is the same pretty much the spelling and the name is the same it, that's my artist name as well so it's pretty much there on um, I'm there on Instagram Facebook uh, YouTube uh, also TikTok a bit so on, with the same name so it's maham dash suhail dot com on the website and then on Spotify of course I think Spotify would be a good place too. And uh, some of the, the experimental and uh, the ambient kind of stuff is there on SoundCloud. Nice. But on my website, you get to, you know, it's one, one the go to place, like one window one stop solution, shop. one stop <laughs> shop. Well, what an absolute delight it is to be presenting this show today with Maham. Um, and I hope that you guys are enjoying this as much as I am. So it's, um, it's like a musical nice, nice. journey across the world mm -hmm. uh, brought to you by, um, by yeah, a, a, a really talented person herself. Maybe Pakistan's Kate Bush. <laughs> That's, I would take that as a compliment. Thank <laughs> you, Paul. And uh, it's lovely being here myself and... Uh, yeah, I mean, I would like to say this on air, and uh, I was saying this to Tina too, and the, you know, like on the way here, I'm like, I felt like, and even, yeah, I said this even while entering the door here, yeah. I feel like already, you know, I feel like a very familiar kind of a, you know, like uh, this sweet familiarity, you know, with, with, with you guys and, you know, with the team and yeah, and like... Mm -hmm. It's, it's nice. Because yeah. we're just nice people. <laughs> um, and well, beyond. I not. And beyond. <laughs> yeah. Well, I have to say, it's been a, it's been a wonderful um, couple of hours with you. Um, and, um, yeah, it's, 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 it's funny, isn't it? So, Drew and I are both a bit soft and um, they have very odd beliefs. So, you're like one of those people <laughs> you just feel like you've known for years. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Is is that feeling uh, mutual from your end? No, as well? I'm, I'm sitting here feeling mm. like I've known you for years, and it's like likewise. You know, I, and you know, I somehow. If you guys remember, this is like I think the first thing I said when I entered the door. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, even uh, during the virtual communication, I, that feeling has been there all along. Mm. So. Big, th big thank you to Maham. Thank you as always to Drew. Thank you, sir. Um, so, we're playing out with Desert Winds.
And for those of you, um, so, so this is a bit of a bonus, we're going to carry on recording with Maham I'm putting out on YouTube. So it's not necessarily the end of this. Um, and I think we'll be talking to Maham again, who's become a friend. Have a great <laughs> week. Sweet. I don't know, see you tomorrow, of course. Bye. Bye.